stop. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop with all the busyness. Get quiet. Get alone with me, saith the Lord, and I will speak. I can speak. I do speak. But I cannot work. I cannot move in your life. I've got to push a lot of clutter. There's a lot of clutter in your heart. A lot of clutter in your mind. And I have to work through all of that. Clear out the clutter. Clear it out, saith the Lord. Begin to worship me. Begin to praise me. Begin to move in faith. And those things will be moved out. And you'll hear so clear. You'll hear so clear. You'll hear so clear. It's just that easy. know I believe that everyone here I could be wrong but I believe that everybody here is spirit filled and I'm hearing this in my spirit very very clear Romans says that as we pray in other tongues we unlock mysteries in the spirit and a mystery is simply hidden knowledge And I, I, I hear this in my spirit, that if you'll just take time, 15 minutes a day, and just begin to pray in other tongues, God's going to speak to you. We've got to pray in other tongues. Church, Jude tells us to pray in the spirit. It will make your spirit man strong. It's like revving up an engine. It's like putting a car, turning the car on, putting it in park, and re turn, you know, revving up the gas. That's what you're doing when you pray in other tongues. And I'm telling you, I hear this very strongly. It's an assignment from God. This is something you need to do till we get out of here. You've got to pray in other tongues. One of the reasons why you don't know is because you're not praying in spirit. You've got to take time to pray in other tongues. How many of you know how to do that? You pray in other tongues. And here's what you do. You just pray in, uh, in, in the Spirit for 10 or 15 minutes. I promise you, if you do that for a while, it'll be 30. Then it'll be 45 minutes. Then there's a type of praying in the Spirit that you want to do to get an answer, right? Yes. So if you need a job, you say, Holy Spirit, I'm going to take a few minutes to pray in the Holy Spirit, to pray in tongues uh, for a job. Shindai Storobadashta. And you began to pray in the Holy Spirit. And it doesn't take very long. It doesn't take very long. And God will begin to speak to you. But did you hear the word of the Lord earlier? He said to get quiet. He said to stop being so busy, busy, busy. He can't talk to you like that. He's asking us to get along with him, to get quiet. Can I just say this? Several months ago, I heard the Lord say, pray. I said, Lord, I pray all the time. Like he doesn't know that. So obviously, he's talking about something a little different. So he said to me again, pray. I said, Father, I pray all the time. I... Two weeks later or so, he came to me and he said, well, I didn't want to have to tell you this. You know, there's some things that God just does not want to have to tell us. He wants us to be obedient. So I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this. I need you to start praying in other tongues. I need you to set some very specific time aside to begin to seek my face. The Bible says that the steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord. And the Lord said to me, you are literally going to pray out the rest of your steps in ministry. Now that's shocking. That was shocking to me. He said, because next year, you're going to be too busy. You will not have the time you have right now 
to pray like you do right now. Church, I, I'm telling you, you need to do the same thing. You need to be praying out your steps in the Spirit. You need to know where God wants you to be. You need to know what's coming. Can I tell you something? When you pray in the other tongues... You, there are things you're going to just know that you didn't know before you did pray in other tongues. There are things, you know, God wants to alert some things in our spirit. The, I mean, can I tell you something? I know usually uh, six months to a year ahead of time some things that are coming for me, good or bad. Many things can be averted if you'll pray. Like I get, like just recently, this has been happening to me. This is the way that God speaks to me. Lately, I've been, I've had this sensing, you know what it feels like when someone's coming behind you and they're going to hurt you? Yeah. So what, how would you interpret that feeling? That's like a surprise attack, right? So God, I've been picking up on that. Well, a lot of people go, wow, that's weird. They're driving their car and they're hearing this and they're picking up and they never pray about it and then something terrible happens and they're like, God, why didn't you tell me? See, the, clear, the quicker you obey, the clearer you'll hear his voice. But if you don't act on what he is trying to give you, then he, you, then he won't speak. And every time I've ever had that premonition, I was right every single time. And I almost got T-boned right after my husband died. I mean, the car was that far from my car. And I know the reason that God was able to prevent that accident is because I did my part. I prayed things out in the Holy Spirit. And he did his part. Amen? So there's a lot of this going on tonight. God is really talking to you about praying in other tongues. He's talking to you about trust. He's talking to you about hearing the voice of God. Did this help anybody tonight? Yes. I really feel like we're done here. I really feel like you know, the, the Lord has said, you know, the predominant thing tonight here was the message. I really feel like this is what the Lord was wanting to get across to you tonight. Yes. Can I tell you something? God loves you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Shut those doors.